What's up, Kansas City? This is L. Max White, and today we're going to discuss a stigma that's been plaguing our community. Many would like to say that it's the new blueprint or foundation that's going to make this so-called country great again. That's right, we're talking about racism. Whether you're a high school student or an NBA star, chances are you have been directly or indirectly affected by racism. Today, I'm joined by two representatives from Freedom Voices. Please take a moment to introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Zoe Reynolds. I'm a graduating senior at Blue Spring South. Hi, I'm Khalil Osborne. I'm going to be a junior at Blue Spring South. And unfortunately, both of these students have been affected by racism at their current school. So let's just jump right into it. Tell me a little bit about what is going on. Well, um, daily I hear comments or jokes that they think are funny. Mm -hmm. Students in my school that are offensive to minorities or Muslims or Hispanics. Especially after the election, we hear things like, get out of this country, or you're lesser, or, and oh. it's a lot of white supremacy happening now. So. Wow, that's unfortunate. And what about you? Well, with me, I know back in December, there was a group chat, and some white kids sent a picture of black people hanging and saying, F the hard R. And then I took oh. it to two assistant principals, and the kids got suspended, but it never reached the head principal. He didn't know anything about it that we wow. just recently learned. So it's sort of like it was brushed under the rug. Yes, exactly. Wow. And unfortunately, we're seeing this a lot more going on in our society where individuals are very comfortable with their racial slurs. Now, I want to ask you something about the atmosphere because if this type of thing is going on in the schools, is it uncomfortable to just go there? Are you able to focus on your studies? Or how does that make you feel? Uh, well, I'm just moved here from Grandview High School, mm -hmm. so it's a completely different uh, demographic. Okay. And um, for the majority of the school year, I had pretty much no friends. It's kind of hard fitting in or finding people that I can relate to. Mm -hmm. Or there were some kids that would try to relate to me based off stereotypes of what they think mm -hmm. I like. And um, I know daily I get, I, uh, dang, sorry. Um, but daily I am cautious about, oh, will somebody call me the N-word today? Or will somebody push me or trip me in the hallway or say something mean just because of the color of my skin. So. Wow, that's unacceptable and I'm sorry that you're having to go through that. Now, do you feel like you have the support of the administration there or are they pretending like this is not really an issue? I think that they know it's an issue but they can't really relate. They think it's like, it's not that big of a deal because they never experienced it themselves. Mm. They can't relate to us and they can't put themselves in our shoes because it won't ever happen to them. Wow. This is very unfortunate. So what can we do as a community to get involved and show support or to really put the pressure on the administrator to let them know that this is happening and that something needs to be done? Do you guys have any ideas? Are you working on anything? or Currently we're trying to gain more members for Freedom Voices to get the support kids and victims of hate crimes need because a lot of the time a kid will be called the N-word or written on their paper and they just don't want to say anything because they feel like they're alone. So we're trying to build that support. We're also trying to get a group of kids to go to the administrators and teachers mm -hmm. and say, this is a problem. We need the rules to change. We need it uh, clear that if you do this, you will be suspended for a significant amount of days. So we just mm -hmm. um, we want more awareness, more support, and also policy change. Good for you guys. Now, what exactly is Freedom Voices for those who don't know? Well, Freedom Voice is an organization like, devoted to helping people and like, giving the people a voice, like yeah. this freedom of speech and showing people that you don't need to be silenced and you shouldn't be afraid to speak up if you're being accused or yeah. uh, if you're like being a victim of racial stuff. Yeah, and it's unfortunate that this is even happening. So if they want to get involved, where do they go to find out information or how do they sign up? Facebook is the Freedom Voices. Uh, okay. We also have a Twitter page called Freedom Voices KC. All right, so Facebook, what was the Facebook page again? The Freedom Voices. All right, so please definitely go to their Facebook page, support them. Definitely check us out at whatsupkansascity.net or you can find us on Facebook at What's Up Kansas City. Also, I just want us to be aware that the 2018 budget that our president has presented, there's going to be a $10 billion cut that will affect the black communities directly. And one of those major cuts is the civil rights and the education department. So what that means is there's not going to be funding to conduct these type of investigations. So if we don't speak out, those things will continue to be swept under the rug. 
we can no longer pretend like this is not an issue and that racism does not exist because it does. So I encourage you to get involved, check out their website and find out uh, what's going on in your community. Talk to your students, talk to your family members, friends, see what's going on if they're experiencing similar situations like this. So once again, I thank you for tuning in to What's Up Kansas City. This has been L. Max White encouraging you to believe in something. Why not start with you?